Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Vanessa Bartlett and today I'm going to talk to you about exercising safely during adrenal fatigue and burnout. Now I've been a personal trainer for 20 years and within that time I did hit burnout point pretty badly myself where I went through adrenal fatigue for two full years and had to strip back everything I had ever done at a gym and reinvigorate my entire lifestyle looking all at all parts of my day. So I'm coming to you today with this video to help educate you and give you a little bit of guidance around exercising safely because exercise is a big part of our health and something we need to do for life. But when you are facing burnout or adrenal fatigue or similar, it is very important that you know how to modify and pull back where necessary so that it still continues to help you become a healthier person, not hinder your health, which it can do as well. So of course, check with your health professional about any of these conditions and speak to them specifically about your condition. But right now, let's jump into it. So first up, I want to pay respect to as well the different phases of adrenal fatigue. So there are four phases. Now, the first one is the alarm reaction. This is number one. The alarm reaction is basically when you are quite busy, maybe you're having a bit of coffee or stimulants to get through your day and you're feeling maybe just a little bit tired when you wake up, but there's nothing full blown yet where it's kind of, you know, taking away from your function day to day. Okay, so at this phase here, this is kind of like a burnout um, red flag, I would say. And I know I was kind of at that place myself running my business years back and trying to do too much and having no downtime. So if you've ever been there where you just feel like you're kind of running from one thing to the next day in, day out with work, family, kids, home duties, all of that stuff, it does all compile towards how you feel and your energy output with exercise. So if you're in this phase of adrenal fatigue, I would suggest that you just start to really Listen to your body and note how you feel during and after your exercise. Now, there's two variations here. First one, if you are the type of person who has exercised for a really long time and you're used to pretty moderate to high intensity exercises, circuits, hit, weights, boxing, anything that's kind of fast paced or traditional in gym and fitness classes, and then, but you start to notice that perhaps you're feeling a bit more lethargic during the session and a bit more lethargic after the sessions or your muscles don't quite recover. I would say at that point, start to pull back a little bit firstly with the duration. So the duration is important to decrease. For example, if you are doing 60 minute classes four to five days a week, um, I used to teach 10 to 15 at one point, but that's another story. It was way too much, which caused me burnout. And that's where exercise is a problem. So duration, decrease it from say 60 to 45 minutes and monitor how you feel then. If you are currently doing 45 minute sessions in whatever method, perhaps decrease it to 30 minutes and see if you still have the tiredness during the lethargic feeling after where you feel like you need to sleep. I used to sleep for two to three hours after teaching one fitness class and that was not obviously sustainable and I knew something was wrong. So start to work on decreasing the duration. Now the overall picture here I want to point out is the fit principle, frequency, intensity, type and time. So if we keep this in the back of our mind, the fit principle as an overarching kind of guideline here for modification, that's a good um, starting point for you as well. So it's important here that you listen to your body, just start to pull back, maintain what you normally do. However, if you are in a little bit of burnout or you're feeling uh, like the symptoms I just uh, mentioned to you, your hormones are starting to perhaps play havoc a little bit, wreak havoc a little bit already. Okay, so in that case, I would start to also modify the type of exercise. If you are doing five intensive sessions a week where your heart rate is up, you're loading your body with either high impact movement, heavy equipment, for example, that is loaded intense exercise and it will cause more stress in your body. So at this point, it's important that you learn to mitigate. So go from say five hard sessions to three and maybe make up the extra two with Pilates and yoga. Now I will also point out here general rule. There are different styles of Pilates. There are different styles of yoga. There are different styles of basically any methodology of movement as you know. So 
If we are focusing here on burnout and adrenal fatigue, I would like you to just keep in the back of your mind doing something like maybe Bikram yoga, where it's quite hot in the room, where you're holding poses for quite a long period of time, that's actually quite stressful on the body. In that case, I would probably not recommend Bikram yoga in any of these phases, just to point that out, okay, because you're adding more stress to the body. Now, let's move on. Stage two of adrenal fatigue is the resistance response okay now the resistance response you're starting to notice that you're not functioning too well your day-to-day -day activities are becoming harder the fight or flight response is definitely activated and what that is is basically your nervous system your parasympathetic nervous system versus your sympathetic nervous system what's happening is the fight or flight response kicks in that's where if you're getting chased by um, a bed um, down the woods um, you know years ago that was the fight or flight response we want to have that in our system obviously to react to danger to things and move quickly when we need to however unfortunately people are staying in this state for well beyond what they need to be day to day even at a desk and then of course with exercise so again your stress response your heart rate elevates your digestion slows, which is why people have digestive issues and often can't lose belly fat when they have burnout or adrenal fatigue, even if you're exercising hard. Um, and so then your, your breathing increases as well. So this fight or flight response is activated, in which case all the other kind of homeostasis type things we need, the rest and digest system, parasympathetic nervous system, starts to deactivate and weight loss becomes harder fitness goals become harder because your body's a little bit out of whack and you are not in homeostasis. This is the resistance phase. So again, let's bring it back to the fit principles, frequency, intensity, type, time. If you have reached stage two adrenal fatigue, it is literally starting to affect you more. I would certainly be pulling back even more. I would probably do 30 minutes at most of your regular exercise. At most now for some people in stage two or three adrenal fatigue that's actually still really hard this is very obviously individual if you are an experienced exercise go look I, I taught at the gym for years but I still hit burnout and I had to go back to walking for five minutes a day with a couple of stretches and that was it like going from 15 classes down to a five minute slow walk with a couple of stretches that's how bad I got so So in that case, if you haven't exercised before and you are in stage two adrenal fatigue or you haven't exercised in a long time, now is not the time at all to be starting high intensity fitness challenges, boot camp challenges, weight loss challenges, all this stuff that's out there online, which will draw you in. And of course it has a purpose and it has good intention behind it. However, it's not suitable for where you're at. If you are in adrenal fatigue, you're gonna push your body way out and cause more problems with the hormones because you're elevating what is already quite exhausted, your adrenal glands right here, just for the sake of exercise, okay? So let's decrease the time to under 30 minutes and modify at this stage heavily. I would be cutting out weights, loaded movements, kettlebells, boxing, <laughs> intensive cardio sessions, hit classes where your heart rate's up and down, up and down, circuit classes, um, a lot of traditional fitness and weight loss methodologies that are out there are not conducive to where your body is at internally if you are at the resistance phase of adrenal fatigue. All right, so please keep that in mind. Modify, if you need to replace that, do your 20 minutes, your 10 to 20 minutes of modified movement with body weight exercises. Things like controlled work, slow it down. So coming up to, you know, a plank here and then into a nice downward dog stretch or coming forward and stretching here and then adding one little push up. You know, this is all still really nice movement, but less um, intensive, slower, and deeper muscle activation. So you're not shooting your body into that stress response just for the sake of exercise, which will push you back in terms of your recovery. All right. And then stage three. This is where it gets pretty bad. 
cortisol has dropped, um, your energy is pretty low, you're relying on a lot of stimulants, you're not yourself, you're feeling probably a little bit depressed, tired, lethargic, most days your motivation is low, this is not great, this is adrenal exhaustion stage three. Adrenal exhaustion. And at this point, I would be saying with regards to exercise, no exercise, limited. If you are a person who has exercised a lot in your life, like I was, and you're in this phase, it's time to just take a breath, accept what is, get the help that you need from the health professionals that you need, and really pull back. So, you know, even modifying at that point, if you've already skipped ahead to this stage three, I wouldn't be doing exercise as a focus. So you're gonna to need to put aside your fitness goals, your sport specific goals, your um, weight loss goals or anything to do with like intensive transformation in your body, put that aside and reprioritize so that you can get healthy, strong and have sustained energy again to then work on the fitness goals second, okay? So this is where mindset comes in, acceptance of where you're at. I did another video on this about burnout in general, so go and head to that as well and write me a message if you need help on that. But at this point, exercise is not the priority. If you're still trying to push through and you are so lethargic and you have adrenal fatigue where it's exhausting you and you can't function daily, the last thing you wanna be doing is exercise. That will only hinder and shoot your um, cortisol up and down again. Your adrenals are already burned out quite badly at this point, hence the adrenal exhaustion phase, right? So if anything, you would be just maybe doing a few minutes walk, perhaps like a little, you know, bend and stretch type movement, a little bit of light Pilates or yoga at a very slow pace. So the speed is where you need to decrease it. And again, these fit principles, frequency, intensity, type, time, you need to strip that right back to basically zero so that we can then rebuild from there safely for you. And if you're a person that did do an hour before, you might need to go back to just a 15 minute walk and five push-ups. If you're a person who's never exercised and you're in adrenal exhaustion, maybe just a few chair exercises like this, up and down, this might be it for your movement if you are pretty exhausted and resting on the couch a lot of hours a day. Okay, I've been in that place. I've been on the couch for three hours after teaching for two. And then when I stopped teaching, um, still laying on the couch and still being just as exhausted for quite some time. All right, so, you know, for me to get up and go, all right, today I'm just gonna do five squats like this on a chair, lift and down and just get my legs moving to the most minimal activation that I can, but I still feel like I'm doing a bit of something because you still gotta move your body. That might be it. So even if you did, you know, five of those assisted with a chair, you know, a few times in a day, that's fantastic for this phase. Wouldn't be pushing it much else. A few little stretches up. Again, use chairs, use couches um, to assist you. Sit forward and then just do a few leg extensions like this. So you work your thighs, you just keep the muscle awake. Okay, so you're not just not using your muscles for however long your recovery takes or if you're in this phase. All right, and then gentle stretches up and over, breathing nicely done at this phase all right of course then stage four look this is where it's pretty bad you're in bed most of the time you're starting to experience other symptoms like perhaps leg pain um, look this is serious it's adrenal failure you need to talk to your doctor if you are in this phase okay and get some help there but basically you're bedridden you cannot function all right, it's, yeah, it's not great there. So again, no exercise would not be the priority at this stage at all, all right? If anything, and you say like you are bedridden, what you could do is do, you know, some gentle neck stretches, circling the head. If you're laying down in bed, you could lay back and just do some arm stretches to the side. Again, just to keep your shoulders active, you know, stretching across, inhale, exhale. So there is very, very nurturing movements and just basic, I suppose, you know, mobility that you can do 
at this phase if anything okay but of course get your doctors or health professionals advice first on any of this um, so if we just backtrack a little bit here your main focus to stay safe and exercise safely during fatigue and burnout so that it doesn't set you back further because here's the thing if you continue to push if you are a regular exerciser and you've hit burnout even if the first two stages where it's affecting you but it's kind of like you know you're on the line you're riding the fine line of if i keep doing what i'm doing every day i feel like i'm going to just crash right you're waking up tired you're not sleeping insomnia is happening doing high intensity exercise is not serving you at that point because your muscle recovery is not going to happen anyway so even if you're trying to tone up lose belly fat lose weight work towards a sport specific goal, even you know marathons and things like that. I have had clients who have been so exhausted from burnout yet they're still in a running club. And so I suggested, look, pull back from the running club for like three months, just do some body weight exercises and a 10 minute walk because they're used to running clubs, so bring it back. You're gonna have to decrease frequency, intensity, type, time for a period of time till so you know instinctively and you're working with your health professional about where your energy levels are at and knowing that if you do exercise it's not going to cost you down the track that's what was happening to me i was like why am i exercising i've always done 10 classes a week at the gym spin boxing weights whatever it was and then teach clients get up early go to bed late that's what everyone did i was burning out I felt horrible, I felt depressed, my emotions were high and low, I was always getting sick as well. You know, these first two phases, you get sick a lot, your immune system is depleted, and again, high intensity exercise can decrease the immune system because you're adding stress to the body. So a lot here to take in, I hope this has been helpful. Modify where needed, listen to your body. If you've not exercised, it is not the time, if you are in adrenal fatigue, to start going to do strong programs. If you need help on any of this, please send me a message or an email, info at vanessabhealth.com. I train people around the world in burnout recovery and also develop training programs specific to individuals going through any of this. If you can work on good foundations and give yourself some time to heal, then we can build back up to your fitness goals, your weight loss goals, belly fat loss as well. Okay, so anything that you want to work towards or just basically feeling good again. That's what it's about, balance. All right, so I hope this has been helpful today. Contact me, reach out um, if you need any help at all. And um, yeah, write a comment so I know you heard this video. Let me know your thoughts on it or if you have questions and I'll get back to you. See you next time.